Hi, this is David Davis from Actual Tech Media. I'm excited to be here at Checkpoint Software's headquarters, and I'm joined by Mr. Don Meyer. He's the head of product marketing for Checkpoint. How you doing, Don? Great. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, thanks for being on. So, you know, times are, are exciting right now for in enterprise IT. I mean, you've got public cloud, uh, hybrid enterprise cloud, you know, are kind of the terms of the day. Uh, but security is, is one of the greatest concerns that enterprises have. I mean, they're interested in the cloud, but I think security and, and you know, uh, so many other things are, are holding them back. But anytime we do a survey, it, the number one is always security in the cloud. So you know, that's why I'm excited to be talking to you today. I mean, Checkpoint is really synonymous with firewalls, you know, going way back in the enterprise. So you know, can you tell our viewers out there, what is Checkpoint doing to enable the, the secure hybrid cloud for the future? Great question. And you know, essentially, it is going back to our roots. It's, it's really looking at where we began. Uh, we began as a software company. We built the first commercially available stateful inspection engine, if you will, that allowed us to connect two different networks together and provide rules for which communication could be established between those networks. From those humble beginnings, we've you know attacked on additional technologies. We built a lot of technologies. We've acquired some technologies and really rounded out our security portfolio to provide the right tools, the right techniques, and more importantly, the right management to allow organizations to orchestrate their security to meet all the needs of today's you know, crazy environment. Right. And with the digital transformation that we see taking place in organizations today, you know, everything from mobile to IOT to the cloudification of networks, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, security is even more challenging you would think than before. Um, our networks are far more complex and far more interconnected than they ever were before. The needs that we have for driving our business forward are propelling us to look at things like agility and elasticity and automation things that are at the antithesis of what security is all about. So what we've been doing is trying to look at and understand kind of the nature of the cloud. And since we are, again, uh, we're software based and we've always been x86 based, making that transition into the cloud from our perspective has been relatively easy. Uh, the challenge is then, looking at what the cloud does and how it provides a, an infrastructure for organizations to really drive business needs forward. Security has to be in alignment with that and it has to provide the right tools, the right techni techniques, the right capabilities to really provide robust security from a single perspective that can be applied wherever your data and your networks go. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we're all about. Very nice. So I was reading about your virtual security solution and I was really impressed with kind of the breadth of the different offerings. I mean, because I know a lot of companies out there, they're, you know, they're looking at software-defined networking. So they might consider ACI or VMware's NSX and you know, then they're looking at public cloud offerings and then of course they have their traditional you know, virtual environment. So um, tell me, with virtual security, um, is that one of the, the main benefits? Is this choice, you know, just like cloud enables so much choice, virtual security, uh, your solution enables so much choice across different infrastructure, software defined, cloud, no matter what it is. Absolutely, and it, that's a really great point. You know, when you talk to different organizations and you've done your research, we've done ours as well, everyone defines the cloud slightly differently. Uh, right. Some people look at cloud as being virtualizing their, their, their servers. Some people look at it as virtualizing their network or utilizing public infrastructure. But what none of these organizations really want is vendor lock-in. They mm -hmm. don't want to be stuck. They don't want to have to put all their eggs in one basket and re be reliant upon someone that they may or may not want to continue to do business with as they go forward. You know. They want the choice and they want the flexibility. Um, at vSIC, again, since we are, um, or I should say, our vSIC solution, since it's based on our traditional firewall solution, which mm -hmm. is all software, uh, again, porting it over to the other cloud providers and the other solutions for us has been relatively straightforward. Uh, we provide solutions for VMware NSX, for Cisco ACI, for OpenStack uh, on the prem side, so if someone wants to virtualize their network, they can use any of those tools, and our solution fits in seamlessly with those different solutions. So we can insert security where it's needed, um, people can do things like micro-segmentation on-prem, and then have the added benefit of having a next generation firewall that can do all the heavy lifting and inspecting of traffic to make sure that nothing is being introduced that we don't want it. And if something is introduced, we got measures in place to be able to stop it from spreading laterally. Likewise, we can look at public cloud infrastructure as well. Uh, we support Microsoft Azure, we support AWS, we support VMware vCloud Air, which is now moving into more of an AWS environment, as mm -hmm. well as Google Cloud Platform we're, we're looking okay. at supporting as well. Uh, everything that our customers have been telling us, hey, we need to support so that we can get into the areas that we want to. Um, what's nice about that is every one of these tools have different management solutions, different orchestration tools. 
we've been able to port our software into those orchestration tools. So when an organization fires up a new virtual uh, network or a new segment of a, a virtual network, um, the security piece can follow seamlessly. And it's the same level of security that they enjoy on-prem, the same level of protections, the same management, the same policy, if you will, that just follows their network wherever it goes. Can be seamlessly inserted and as well works with a lot of the different public cloud infrastructure tools such as elastic load balancers or even uh, in AWS terminology, the cloud watch, uh, cloud passage tools that allow us to be able to absorb information from the infrastructure that says, hey, I'm reaching a certain threshold with traffic, I need to spin up a new server or I need to spin up a new part of the infrastructure to be able to accommodate this burst in traffic. And as well, now the traffic patterns have slowed down so I need to you know, reduce that, that footprint um, and security it shrinks and grows with that particular uh, instance. So a lot of what we've been doing you know, on the back end to make security seamless in these different environments. Very impressive, and I mean that's really one of the challenges is that kind of secure policy-based management across all these different you know types of clouds, whether they're on-prem or, or off-prem, and and unified management. You know, so if people are familiar with managing Checkpoint, they can manage their secure hybrid cloud no matter where it is. Absolutely, it, from our perspective, it's just another gateway. Um, whether it's physical or virtual, from the management solution, it really doesn't matter. So it gives organizations the tools that they need to not only get the visibility, which is important, because anything that's on-prem, I control. Anything that goes off-prem, I'm at the mercy of that cloud infrastructure provider. And from the infrastructure provider's perspective, they're going to build a reliable and agile enough infrastructure but whatever you carve out of that infrastructure is your responsibility to secure. That's that shared security model that we hear a lot about. So we can port our wares into those areas to give you the same robust security capabilities, the same level of deep packet inspection, the same level of sandbag, uh, sandboxing technologies that we call Sandblast to ensure that whatever data is introduced into that environment is what we want. And anything that we don't want, we can prevent it from getting in there and spreading around laterally. Very nice, very nice. So for IT pros out there who want to learn more, what do you recommend? Recommend coming and checking us out uh, either at RSA. Uh, we're going to be showcasing all our wares at RSA 2017 this year. There are other events that we've got uh, hosted on our website. Please check us out at uh, www.checkpoint.com and, and we're happy to, to accommodate whatever uh, your level of security interest that, uh, that you have out there. Awesome. Thanks so much, Don. Appreciate it. Thank you.